In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the RSQ function. This function computes the square of the Pearson product moment correlation between two variables. This is also known as the R squared value or the coefficient of determination. And this value is very often used to determine the practical significance of a Pearson correlation. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I have two variables. I have age and total cholesterol. And we're going to determine what Typically, we determine what the Pearson correlation would be, and then we would square the value. But we can do a shortcut here and find out what the squared value is using this function. So I want to highlight the cell where I want the function to be placed. And I'm going to click on the Formulas tab, and then click on Insert Function. And then I want to find the RSQ function. So again, I could use, uh, do that using a search or using the most recently used function. But here is the RSQ function. So I want to double click on that. And so I first need to enter in the known Y values. In this case, that's going to be uh, cholesterol. In this case, that's what we would use age to predict. So I want to highlight the cholesterol values. And then click Enter. And then I want to highlight my known X values. In this case, age. So highlight those values. Either click Enter or the Wrap Ed Edit button and then I can click OK. And then so we can see here, here's the R squared value of 0 0.01 and how we interpret that would be we multiply this value by 100 which would work out to be 1.7 percent and so this tells us that about 1.7 percent of the variance in total cholesterol is explained by age. That's a very common way to interpret the coefficient of determination. So hopefully you've learned something from this video and good luck using this technique on your own.